Hello, this is Daniel Thomas Andrew Daly here. This is a reading from The Birthday Kitten by Enid Blyton. I bought this not long ago on eBay. It's, there's a companion to it, which I got on eBay by Enid Blyton, four in a kitten. Four, four in, a, in a family, sorry, by Enid Blyton as well. Same publishers, same sort of thing. First published 1958, copyright Enid Blyton 1957. It's first printing. I'll, re I'll read some from chapter one, which is what do you want for your birthday? Twins, you'd better begin to think what you want for your birthday, said Mummy. Granny was asking me what you'd like yesterday, and Auntie Sue asked me today. Oh, yes, we'll think of our list straight away, said Terry. Come on, Tessie, I've got my pencil. Now we want some snap cards, don't we? Ours are so dirty. Yes, and I'd love a new pencil box, said Tessie. Someone dropped mine at school the other day, and the lid broke. Terry wrote Tessie at the top of one side of his piece of paper, and Terry on the other. Now, he said, that's pencil box for you, Tessie, and I'll put snap cards down for me. And I want a book, too, about animals. He wrote that down under his own name. I'd like a book about birds, said Tessie. And I know the one I want. I saw it in a bookshop the other day. I'll write down the title for you. It will be a good idea to put book tokens too, said Terry, nibbling the end of his pencil. Mummy, can we put book tokens? Sometimes Grandpa gives us such a dull book, and it's a waste of reading them. But if he gave us a book token, it means we can go around the bookshop by ourselves and choose what we really like. Of course, put that down, said Mummy. You always choose sensible books, but put a few other things beside those you've already written, Terry. You won't get everything you want, but at least there'll be plenty for people to choose from. Well, let's put down a new doll for you, Tessie, and a new clockwork car for me, said Terry. And what about a jigsaw or some other game? And I'd love some paints. The list grew quite long. Terry whispered to Tessie, and she nodded. What are you whispering about? asked Mummy, smiling. Something special? Yes, said Terry. I was wondering if it's any use putting down what we always put down and never get, Mummy. What's that? asked his mother. Well, we always put down a puppy or a kitten, said Terry. Always. We've never had one yet. Last Christmas I put down puppy three times on my list, said Tessie. And I got one but it was a toy one. Just a nightdress case that holds my nighty beautifully, but I want a live one, or a kitten. I don't mind which. Is it any good putting down puppy or kitten again, Mummy? said Terry. Well, I don't really want any animals till baby's bigger, said Mummy, and then you know they cost money to feed if you're going to keep them properly, and a dog needs a kennel because I wouldn't have him in the house while baby is so small. I don't see why began Tessie. We could look after him. I'd love to. Darling, you're at school all day, except in the weekends and holidays, said her mother. Wait till baby's bigger. We've waited so long, said Terry mournfully. We're almost nine, and except for a hedgehog I kept out in the garden shed one winter, and a robin with a broken leg, we kept till it mended. We've never had a proper pet. I suppose then, Mummy, it isn't any good putting down a puppy or a kitten on, in our list, said Tessie. Not while baby is small, said her mother. I don't want to trip over animals when I'm carrying baby about. What about putting down a canary? You've got to have that if you like to look after it properly each day. Yes, that's a good idea. We'll put down canary, said Terry. And wrote it down under both her names in big letters, canary. Doesn't matter which of us has it, we can share it. I only hope we get a cage with it. That will do.